Hey, what's up guys? David here from Dignited. Today, I want to show you how to connect a second router to your ISP or internet service provider router. All right, let's get into it. All right, so if your Wi-Fi signal is weak in certain rooms, or if your Zoom calls freeze every now and then, or if your smart TV keeps buffering, well, today I'll show you how to connect a second Wi-Fi router to your existing internet service provider's router to either boost coverage, improve speed, or even get more control over your home network. All right, let's get into it. So the first Wi-Fi network that I have is from my ISP and it's called Blue Crane. So that is what we are going to test first. All right, so let's do a quick speed test here. I'm setting the server to Frankfurt, Germany. All right, and you can see my download speeds hit up to about 14 Mbps. So this is a 50 Mbps link from my ISP and you can see the download speeds are really, really terrible. Okay, so now I'm going to change the Wi-Fi network from my ISPs to the extended Wi-Fi router here, Shaokui 5G. So let's change the Wi-Fi network to the second router and then do a quick speed test once again. Oh wow, so you can tell I'm already hitting 50 Mbps, which is actually the speed that I pay for from my ISP. So you can see the second router is actually much better in terms of performance than my own ISP's router. So this is one of the reasons why you actually want to extend your primary router, your ISP router, with a second Wi-Fi router. And before we get started, you essentially need about four things. One is your current ISP router. Whenever I say ISP, just know I'm referring to your internet service provider, which brings in the internet. And then the second router. Okay, this could be an old uh, performance router or it could be something new you bought off Amazon, eBay or your local store. Then you need an ethernet cable. Okay. And then you need a laptop or phone to access your router settings okay so let's jump right into it so in my basement here which is not an ideal spot for actually putting a wi-fi router i have my isp router here which is a huawei router actually it brings in fiber internet right from that zte terminal there it brings in the fiber internet all right, and you can see I have uh, the Wi-Fi router has four LAN ports, a telephone port and USB port and a power port here. All right, so, yes, so what you want to do now is to simply get a LAN cable. This is CAT5 or even CAT6 can work, but basically your typical LAN cable should be able to work. Most routers come with one. All right, and then plug it into one of the LAN ports. So I have LAN, labeled here LAN uh, 1, 2, 3, up to 4. It doesn't really matter which port that you use here. So plug it in right here. So I plug the LAN port to uh, LAN 4 there, okay, which is the last port. And then the other end of the LAN port, all right, uh, this one right here, you're going to have to plug it in to your second Wi-Fi router. Okay, so let's do that. All right, so I have my D-Link AC3150 Ultra Wi-Fi router. This is a very high performance router here, and it boosts signal way better than my ISP router. That's why I use it. Uh, it's also a VPN router. I have DDWRT installed on it, all right? Yes, so what you now want to do is to look at the internet port okay all the one port you can see mine is color coded yellow here so you have these four ports here which are the LAN ports but there is one unique one one different one which is a one or internet port so look for that last port there and then put your ethernet cable to it okay the other end of the ethernet cable so let's do that all right so i've inserted the ethernet cable to the uh, one or internet port of my D-Link router and on the other end of course it goes to the ISP router okay so now these two are connected in uh, router mode right so this configuration here sets this router 
as a totally different uh, network okay so you can set a different ssid name and password for your devices right yes okay so what happens if you insert it in any of these lan ports all right so if you inserted the other end of the ethernet cable to one of these LAN ports here, then you will have created an access point mode. This simply means that, yes, uh, you've ex simply extended the Wi-Fi network of your ISP router right here, all right? It's simply extended its Wi-Fi network, but you've not created an entirely new network, all right? Yes, that's what access point mode means. That means that the ISP router now still serves as a DHCP server. It still assigns IP addresses and routing and all the other router uh, configurations to your devices. Okay, so you want to do this if you simply just want to extend the Wi-Fi network and nothing else. That's how you do it in access point mode. But for me, I prefer the router mode. Okay, so I'm just going to put it back. All right, so the next thing we are going to do now is to open the web interface of your extended Wi-Fi router here on your computer or your PC and just set up the uh, SSID and password, okay, so that your devices can easily connect to your second Wi-Fi network. So let's do that. All right, now you can come to the web interface and access your second router, your extended router. Simply type in either 192.168, either .1.1 or .0.1. Usually it's either .1.1 or .0.1, okay? And then you can log into the web interface of your router using the default uh, password and username. These are usually printed at the back of your Wi-Fi router, okay? Yes, but for me, I already configured that and then set it up, all right? And uh, yes, this is my D-Link router, which is uh, now configured and, and installed with DDWRT uh, router firmware, all right? And uh, when I come to uh, wireless here, I can now set the SSIDs, all right, for both the 2.4 and 5 gigahertz bands right here. So this all depends on your Wi-Fi router. Different vendors have different uh, web interfaces, so I won't really dig into this that much. All right, guys, I hope this little tutorial was helpful. That's how you can connect a second Wi-Fi router to your ISP router. If you have done so, and, uh, you know, let me know in the comments below. If you have any challenges, let me know in the comments below. Otherwise, thanks for watching. Click on the like button if you found value in this video. And ring the bell icon to be notified of future tech videos. Otherwise, I'll see you guys in the next one.